Hussein Awael, a first-generation former University of Minnesota graduate student, is also an international student from Saudi Arabia and studied at the university during the COVID-19 pandemic. And I, I noticed this when I asked my parents for advice, I wouldn't get advice because they literally don't know. He describes the challenges he faced while going through graduate school during the pandemic. I didn't know what, what to do. Even uh, the program was not able to give us uh, an orientation. Alwael's experience with orientation as a first-generation international student is not unique. To this day, the university does not have a specific program or service designated to serve those students, even though they are seeing their numbers rise in recent years. At a recent professional development conference, staff from Career Services noticed more international students with the first gen tag. College of Education and Human Development Advisor Ellen Sunshine says she was encouraged to start an initiative within her department to aid first-generation international students. According to Sunshine, there is a difference in advising international first-generation students compared to American first-generation students. One of the things that I am presenting to the rest of my team is to have our international students, all of the international students, not just the first-gen students, schedule advising appointments with their advisors earlier in the semester. Usually we invite them to come in in October or November, um, but I, I feel like these are students who would really benefit from that advising connection right away. Angie Jin is an international student majoring in sports management. She's been in the U.S. for six years after moving from China. I went to a high school in upstate New York, so my uh, transition from high school to college isn't as bad as other international students or first-generation college students, I guess. According to Jin, she does not recognize herself as a first-generation student as much as an international student. People don't really ask questions like that, and they'll be asking where you're from, but they don't ask if you're a first-generation college student or not. So uh, it's not something that people can tell right away. It's more like your choice of telling people that or not. But she recognizes the differences being a first-generation international student makes in her university experience. As an international student, you don't really get support or like help from your family because they don't really know anything and they're like not here, so you don't really get any help or resources from them. According to Bavi Weston, Assistant Director of Advising at the College of Liberal Arts, the international student population decreased dramatically over the pandemic. Our international populations changed dramatically over the pandemic. And so like we're just at the point now where we're starting to regain our international students. Currently, according to Weston, there are only seven international students with first-gen tags in CLA. However, she recognizes that the data is not fully accurate and representative of their student population, as many international students currently lack their first-gen tag. In CEHD, the fall 2023 term saw the lowest number of undergraduate international students. The last three years have seen the lowest number of international students for this college since 2017. Even though the university's international student population is yet to fully rebound after the pandemic, initiatives to aid international first-generation students are being proposed. Those students can expect a better counseling experience at the University of Minnesota in the coming years. Gabriel Castillo, University Report.